Hello, hope you're in fine voice. One of the, I suppose, the, the issues in recording voiceover is breathing. Uh, you've got to breathe because it's, it's important to survive. And in voiceovers, they, those breaths, those unwanted breaths can be a real issue. And they can sometimes be quite prominent. Now, in a, something like a commercial, you'd want to edit all the breaths out because you wanted to go bang, 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 bang. Because if, if the client added up all the breathing you did in a 30 second commercial, they'd say, I can get another three words in there. So editing breaths out, we tend to do in commercials and lots of other things like e-learning, perhaps uh, corporates and so on, uh, particularly if they're obtrusive. Uh, something like an audio book, you'd probably leave it in. But getting rid of those breaths means just editing. So you get the breath and you can just nip it out, highlight it and delete it in your, in your software like Audacity. But if you've got a long piece, it's going to take you ages and ages to do that. So one of the things you can use is something called a noise gate. Now, as the name suggests, it's literally a gate that opens and closes. And this gate will allow certain sounds through and stop others coming through. So you can instruct it to remove the breaths, but keep your voice there, which is obviously what we want to try and do. So using this gate is important. You don't want to have it too wide. You don't want to have it too, too soft. So let's see how we can use a noise gate to remove breaths and see how effective it is. All right, so this is my recording here. Welcome to our company, where innovation meets simplicity. Whether you're here to streamline your workflow, discover new ideas, or connect with like You can hear the breaths there and you can see them look. That's one. Here's another breath. Here's another breath. And now I'm going to try and use the noise gate to get rid of them. I could, of course, just individually get rid of these breaths just by highlighting and then deleting. That would remove it. But if I had a very long piece, that would take an awful long time. So what I'm going to try and do is use this noise gate to remove those breaths, but still keep the recording intact and keep its audio integrity OK. So let's go to Effect, the toolbar at the top, and then Noise Removal and Repair. And we want to go down to Noise Gate. And I'm going to try this gate threshold, which is the the default. It's what's uh, been given to me by Audacity and all these other things which um, attack the whole decay and so on. You can muck about with these if you want to, but sometimes you end up chasing your tail and doing more harm than good. So being the tech techie phobe that I am, I'm going to just leave it as is and see if it works. So if I then press apply, Hopefully, these breaths will disappear. There we go. They've gone, look. So let's now have a listen. Welcome to our company, where innovation meets simplicity. Whether you're here to streamline your workflow, discover new ideas, or connect with like-minded professionals. We oh, it's left, uh, left that in. But that's probably more of a puh. So I'm going to delete that. But every, all the other breaths that I had there have, uh, have disappeared. So that's using the noise gate. So that's how to use a noise gate to get rid of lots and lots of breaths, particularly on a, a, long, uh, a long piece of audio in something like Audacity or whatever door you're using. Now, it's worth pointing out that you have to be subtle with the noise gate because you don't want the silent bits to be silent. You don't want to 
drop down to total zero. That's why it's never a good idea to insert silence. You'll notice in Audacity, there's an option to insert silence. And you might think, perhaps understandably, oh, that's a good idea because it makes it nice and quiet in between my words and in between my sentences. But that's not a good idea because it would be very hard to listen to a piece because of your room tone, it would be very hard to listen to a piece where suddenly it drops to silence. It really does create a, uh, a jagged listen. It's quite, it makes the voice quite staccato. It's quite uncomfortable to listen to, actually, as well. So you want to really try and keep it subtle. And using a noise gate can do that. But if you overdo the noise gate, then it will drop to silence. Or at least it will drop to such a low level and the, the, the sections in between your words that, again, it will be uncomfortable to listen to. So experiment with it. Experiment with your thresholds and see what you come up with. A lot depends on how breathy you are and um, and see how it works. But it it is it is quite good. It's quite effective, but use it sparingly. And sometimes you may on short pieces just want to get the, the, the highlighter and just remove those individual breaths rather than using the gate. But the noise gate can be a very useful tool in de-breathing your audio. All right, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and I'll see you next time.